Hi guys, thanks for watching Handy Radio. The Baofeng BF888 here um, is one of the most popular radios Baofeng's ever made. I mean, we have definitely sold hundreds of these and it is um, compact, durable, and it's cost effective. In other words, it's very cheap to buy in the first place. It does 16 channels, it's on the UHF band and from 400 to 470 and the battery lasts an absolutely long time. Now we have a new radio that's come onto the market. The Baofeng UV6 is a dual band UHF and VHF radio so it's got the extra VHF band compared to the 888 and the free frequency coverage is 136 to 174 megahertz plus the 400 to 470 megahertz. The UV6 is a bit taller than the Baofeng 888. So if you take a look at the radio side by side, we have a slightly wider body. It is taller and the antenna is a tiny little bit longer than the 888. On the side, we have the side buttons here. Although they're not in the orange color, so I got the BF888 on the left and the UV6 on the right and they maintain the three buttons on the side. So again, the slight different design of the back. There are different size batteries. The UV6 has 2000 milliamp hours and the UV, the BF888 has 1500 milliamp hours. They have the standard two pin programming and speaker mic connection. So all the accessories can be used um, for both radios. Looking at the top of the radios, the UV6, the new one, uh, hasn't got a LED flashlight, but uh, it's it's got the, the dial and the on and off volume switch. So it's a very similar on the top. In comparison, the plastic used for the UV6 is a lot better quality and it has a better feel in your hand um, than the 888. This is the battery for the BF 888S. It's um, 1500 and it's 3.7 volt um, fit onto the back of the radio, which has got the metal plate. The battery is model number BL6 and it's 7.4 volt. Again, very easy to um, slide the battery on. The antenna on the UV6, same as the Balfour UV um, 5R series, it's the SMA female on the antenna and it's the SMA male, so it's got the pin on the body of the radio. To turn the radio on, you just need to rotate the dial for power and volume. Welcome to zero. And as you have heard, it's on channel number 20. So the 16 channels on top of the, the dials, you can turn the dial for the different channels, but it actually has 128 memory channels. So you can pre-program that via the computer. Now the UV6 has 128 channels and they are grouped into eight different memory banks. So each bank you have 16 channels. At the moment, I have put it on the bank number two. So when you turn the radio on, it says channel number 20. To change between the different banks, you just need to rotate the dial um, between positions um, one and eight. So for example, now I've turned it onto channel one, so it's on channel one and on the dial while well, the radio is switched off. So to go into bank, memory bank number one, you just have to press and hold the middle button, the one just below the PTT switch, and then turn the power dial. So now we are on channels between 1 and 16. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 
Now the UV6 does allow you to listen to FM broadcast. And to do that, you just need to turn the radio on. Welcome. One. And, and in the standby mode, press the function key just below the PTT button once. You activate the FM broadcast. To, to scan the channels, or to go up a, an active channel, just press, again, single press on the function key. Really positive one. Thank you for that. Another simply the best. Tower of Strength, says Dave from Lancaster. And here, an anonymous one. Good. Dead. Happy. 8133, the three words that would best describe your in-laws, I'll share... Another feature of the UV6 is the radio will read out the channel frequencies and uh, any CTCSS tones being used. So I've changed the radio onto memory channel 20. This is my local repeater's frequency, it's on 2 meter, um, 145, 7375, this is the um, GB3AL repeater, so that's been programmed via the computer. So that's activated the, uh, the repeater, so if you wanted to hear what frequency this is, you will need to press and hold the monitor button so it opens the squelch but immediately you need to press the middle function key so press and hold the monitor button transmitting memory one four five one three seven five zero ctcss seven seven zero receiving memory one Let's now take a look at the performance of this radio on a 70 centimeter repeater. So that's the Bracken repeater GB3BN. I've made a little clip early on, so let's listen to this. Uh, H, I, uh, I understand now. Yeah, the, the audio was uh, very good on the clip, no problems at all with that. So um, I wonder what model radio it is you're having a, a play with. So what do you get out of the box? Well, as you can see, I've taken the radio out and I'll put the battery pack on and put the antenna on the radio. You will get one English user's manual. Let's just remove all the plastic. There's one belt clip. The mains charger plug, a desktop drop in charger, and a little wrist hand strap. Thank you for watching the video, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please subscribe to my channel for more updates, and you can click the like button or share it with your friends.